Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will going to look at joining the two data sets. So, so far we have seen that we have looked at uh, cleaning the data, you know, joining using the union to combine the data set and this in this tab we have just added in the last video the returns new and cleaned up the nodes field which is this customer node and approval name. So, some operation we did related to the cleaning. And now let's go ahead and see how we can join the two columns. So you can see that uh, once we drag our this cleaning notes tab over here, you have option of joining union and add. So we can come over here and click drag, put it on the join. And there are some changes like for example, you have this option enabled which is applied join clauses giving you the information about on which column the join has been added and the type of join that has been applied is inner join and summary of results mismatched values um, included values over here and excluded is almost like 13,662 values that has been excluded and that is because the type of join that has been applied it's inner join and I'll show you in a minute how you can um you know how you can uh, correct this so join clause recommendation at the end is on the order id customer node and customer id and so on and so forth but on order id it makes sense so you can click on this plus icon and over there you will see that uh, join is now added on not only on the product id but also on the order id right because order id is also present over there now if we want to correct the exclusion of the values as I just applied the order ID the excluded value count is increased from 13,600 to 15,600 and uh, if I based on the requirements what we want is basically all regions data and data only that has been returned so that is basically your left join so I'll just click over here left join and you will see that uh, the shape over here is changed and now the excluded value from all region is zero but from the cleaning step is just three and the join result is 16302 so it's like we have corrected the, the entire error that uh, we wanted uh, you know from the from this step perspective that all the data for all the regions along with the cleaning result we should get it from there or from these two data sets one other thing which you may be noticing is these red columns or sorry the red values and this basically indicates the the order ids or the product ids which does not have the return corresponding return value and which has the corresponding return value is highlighted here in the black as a normal value so that's what it indicates so now while the join steps has been completed you will see that uh, if you go on the right hand side you now have like we have have it earlier in the union step like table names uh, we have file paths and then we have product ID for cleaning notes and all regions so what we can do is uh, we can just click over here and add a step which is a cleaning step which will give us the final output out from this join one and if you see the the customer node approver name table names file path and if I go towards till right uh, we will see the the new column which has been created with the joins so like uh, order ID 1 product ID 1 right so this is something which has been created with the when the join has been applied and row ID is again I, I don't think we really need it we can remove that and I'm just checking if there is anything um, else that we need to take care of also if you are interested uh, not interested in scrolling you can simply look at like order so you have order order ID 1 and uh, if I say product you have product ID and product ID 1 so this is something which I was uh, you know looking into and uh, trying to figure it out uh, which one to remove and which one not to remove 
So if you look at product ID and product ID, you have some null values over here. So definitely coming from the return field. So we'll just go ahead and click on remove. Similarly, if I look at order, the order ID field over here. So this is, this is like all the IDs and this is the order ID with the null and uh, you have 251 values over here and 5000 values over here. So let's go ahead and remove this. All right. So once we are done over here, we have our data set with uh, most of the values which are present. And uh, one thing, one new value that we can create is with the help of if I just yeah over here so return reason so if the return reason is null then you know uh, the order is not returned and if it is uh, if a value is present then it is returned so what we can create is the new returned question mark if is null null what return reason then uh, no it is not returned else yes all right so i think it is double quotation which is creating an issue let me change this to here and there is one error if missing and finally and so we are good apply and save so that must be on the left hand side if I'm not wrong yeah left and uh, there are so many products which have not been written and there are few products like 621 rows or 621 orders that has been returned so that's a new value that we have created here and one last thing that we may do is just to find uh, just to create one more information column for us is how many days it is taking to ship the order uh, from the day when we received the order so we can create a new calculated field and uh, we can give it a meaningful name like uh, days to ship and there is a, a function called date diff and we want it uh, with the number of days so we will specify day and like over here in the example if we want month we can we could have used month but we want by days and uh, first is uh, the start date which is order date the date we received the order and end date is basically the ship date the date on which we shipped it okay and we will click save and we again on the left hand side we have clearly four is is coming out four and five is coming out as one where on an average the days which is being taken to ship the order from the day it has been received so you can look at it in where it is happening and this is one of the criteria which can make your customer happy uh, if you can move this distribution from here to here and that's the power of data that you have in the hand by looking at each one like just clicking on four and over here you can clearly see from which table it is uh, so order vest is something which is contributing it followed by office supplies uh, followed by you know the information so on and so forth so that is something for us to look at so for now I'll just leave it as it is and uh, the final thing is to to add the output once we are done with pretty much uh, all of this information in terms of joining processing cleaning and all of that thing is taking the output so that we can further use it and you also have the option before i take the output step is right clicking over here and you can preview it in the desktop so if i just click it over here it is showing that uh, flow is running flow is uh, completed in just one second and the tableau workbook is open and i have all of my values over here and now which i can save it to uh, you know keep using it as i need but 
since there will be new data which is coming like every day every month or you know based on the frequency that you have set you may want to click and uh, say add output and you can click come over here and say you want to save the output as a publish as a data source or you want to save it to a location as a tableau data extract dot hyper extension tableau data extract dot tde or comma separated values so let's save it as dot uh, tde and where i want to save it is something which i can uh, specify over here if i just drag it so this shows the entire location where uh, this this particular file is going so we can run the flow and this will create an extract for us so yes we have uh, done it and we have created the entire flow with the tde so what i can do is i can just copy this and in the window here run we can see uh, the name the name is output and output is present over here as a tableau data extract and we have created this so that's all about how you can then you know join clean and we have looked at a lot of things in this this particular tutorial and finally took the data out in as a tableau data extract and you have a couple of other options like uh, xcsv or data extract dot hyper extension and you can run the flow which will help you take the data out and one last thing is dot uh, tde and dot uh, hyper dot hyper is basically for the version which is beyond 10.5 and anything between 10 to 10.4 you have dot tde and if you don't want uh, this then you have always the option of dot csv which you can take it and you can you know use it in any version as per your needs so that's about it i hope you have found it useful and i'll meet you in the next video the new tutorial